Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy RTG coming at you with a bit more Owl Boy. I know it's been a minute and I hope you can forgive me. But yeah, um, some IRL stuff came up. Been difficult to find the time to stream. But I am here, I am back, and I think we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this together. One sec. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't remember where we are. Oh, I kind of remember where we are. So. We. I don't remember what happened in the exact last stream. But I do know that. Getty ditched us after we decided that yo twig may not be that bad a guy or girl i don't remember i don't remember what they what they said twig was but yeah they said twig wasn't a bad person and getty got thoroughly upset and left the party for a while so we ended up teaming up with Twig, going to their home, finding out Twig wasn't actually a spider, but a stick bug, and uh, was, uh, I, w I wouldn't want to say disowned, they're just kind of estranged, or strained, with Twig's brother and father. But yeah, they weren't on the best terms because Twig prefers dressing up and pretending to be a spider than embracing their stick book heritage. And it turned into a whole mess. So Twig ended up leaving the home and we ended up teaming up to take down a pirate base that was just outside Twigstown. And after we did that, the parents decided, you know, his, well, father decided, you know what, you going out adventuring may not be that bad. And hmm, what happened? Right, we me, Twig, Alphonse infiltrated the infiltrated a pirate ship in an attempt to steal the I don't remember what they refer to them as the relics? Yeah, I think it's relics from the pirate king Monkey D. Luffy but that didn't work out uh we were about to steal them, got locked out of, or got interrupted by Twig's former friend and Twig, well, Twig's former manipulator, Alphonse's former friend, don't remember his name, edgy dude, likes knives, intent on murder, him. And uh, fought him, ended up in Maelstrom, the actual captain of the ship. We ended up in his chambers and somebody used the opportunity to steal the relics. And Maelstrom got furious, attacked us and Getty swooped in at the last second, saved our lives. We came crashing down, ended up in Vile 
And now we're here. Okay. <clears throat> Me and Twig? Yeah, we're good now. We talked it out while you were sleeping. Twig's just a big idiot. Haha. <laughs> I like this place. It's like a secret hideout. You live here? That's great. When it's all over, we should eat a big dinner together here. Just thinking about it makes me hungry. <clears throat> I wonder what they might be pl uh no, not the right voice. Um I wonder what they might be planning to use the relics for. Is it only for power? Or do the relics serve some other purpose? Nice talk, guys. some food uh oh can use everybody i feel like there was some some secret place that we needed twig to get to or am i just is my memory just that bad because I know there's one in one of those higher sections. Don't remember the name of it. And the entire town is just empty. Cool, 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 cool. <coughs> it's also raining ash. Mr. Angry McAngry Pants. <coughs> Otis? You fool. Imbecile. Moron. Leave this place at once. Otis, why have you come back? You should leave now. Otis, please. This place is no longer safe. I couldn't keep the village from harm. Not me nor Strix, nor any other owl. We are frail, arrogant, short-sighted. If you hadn't left the school, Otis, we have been spared from my own foolish accent actions this time. Fly away as far as you can, Otis. Hide yourself from others and never return. Heed my final lesson now, so that you may live a little longer. Hug? We good? Yeah. I am so sorry for everything. Reconciliation. Despite everything, you have been a remarkable student, Otis. Courage is a trait lost on most owls. 
Ville has been abandoned. The pirates are likely to attack here next. I am going to stay here in Ville. This is our home. You're leaving again now. I'll wait for you here. If there's anything I can help you with, then let me know. A way to get beyond the metasphere. Oh, I didn't realize this was actual, like, story pro... Like, talking to him was actual story progression. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Maybe you can ask the professor. I don't like to admit it, but... He would probably know better than me. Be careful out there, Otis. Any more? Okay. That was... Actually... I'm not sure if it's what we were supposed to do, but it was actually helpful. Let me see. Going in here... I didn't realize people would have actually been here. This is what I am here for. Yep. Yep. Take the rocket. You're gonna take the rocket. <clears throat> Don't remember his voice. Uh, Otis? No, I think it was more nasal. No, not nasally. What What does a old science, a old scientist, sound like? Anyway, I'll figure it out. Otis, why are you here? You should evacuate. The pirates could strike at any moment. The professor's right. There's even been sights of land masses rising. Something isn't right with the world. We need some help, professor. We're tracking someone who might hold the key to saving Ville. R really? Who? We don't know. Whoever it was went above the metasphere before we could catch him. Otis can't fly that high. Well, we could perhaps help you get up there. But I don't see why we should. The last time I helped you out, things didn't go so well. Please. We have to do something. Whoever's up there has all three relics. Three relics? You mean the hex relics? You've heard of them? Then you know we're not making this up. What are they talking about, Professor? Alright, Otis and Getty. Let's do a test. Whoever it was, if he went above the metasphere, he should have had somewhere to go. We should be able to track any landmass up there with my machine. If there's nothing to find up there, there's no reason to believe you. Alright, go ahead and check. I'm pretty sure you'll find something. Well, would you look at that? They're right. Incredible. A structure in, me in Misos? How could anything even be built so high up? Alright. I can help you get up there. But it will be a dangerous flight. If you want to go, you should prepare. <laughs> Make sure you've done everything you need to do. You won't be coming back for a while. <sighs> okay, so it's not... We did... Some time ago, find 
and you can't go up to it but the little the little owl coin looking thing next to the buccaneer coins we did happen upon one of them and brought it back to a place i believe we saw yeah we saw a second one i don't remember in which dungeon it was but we couldn't get to it i believe we may have needed twig for that don't know i don't remember but that we haven't been able to access i feel like the third one if anywhere would be in mesos so we can potentially get that one and i don't believe we have any outstanding buccaneering coins ready to go buddy all right i'll meet you outside i've been looking forward to this <laughs> Remember to say goodbye to everyone, Otis. This will be dangerous and you probably won't be back for a while. I suppose I should bid you farewell too. We all know you've been trying your best all this time, Otis. I hope this time it goes well for you. With how things are looking, we might not have all that much time left. So here we are. Remember, there will be no going back. Are you sure you're ready for this, Otis? Good. Excuse us. We would all like to come along, Madam Colonel. That's right. Otis's friends, are you? Wait a second. Aren't you... Now, now, Professor. Alf Halton is a... Pa Alphonse is a pirate, and I caused some trouble here. But we're here to help now. Yes, yes, no need for that. You're all welcome to come along. We're all here, so let's get going. Yes. Huh? What are we traveling in? Oh, you'll see. Professor, is everything ready? Yes. The radar gave us some coordinates to aim for, so we should make it. Assuming your invention works, Colonel. Excellent. Oh, I should probably repeat. This will be dangerous. Should we get ISO and the other villagers? They, then they can see you off. I don't think so. They might try to stop us. I don't think we should I don't think we want to pass on bad terms. All right. In that case, it's time to board. Board? Board what? Do you mean this tall building here? Yes. Get it. We're traveling in this thing. It looks like you can't even move. Quiet fools. You are about to witness my true genius. Years of, years of work all boil down to this moment. Get in. Better do it, lads, before she changes her mind. Quickly now. Hehehe. <laughs> It is time. Prepare yourselves. All systems are ready. Detach. Uh, ignition. Lift off. <laughs> I knew this would work. Good luck, you guys. See? It was a rocket.
Who's this? Are you alright? Oh man. You had me worried there. Are you okay, man? Can you fly? Uh, did you break something? <laughs> no, I don't think he has. The air in this place is very thin. Too thin to fly in. Ah, man. We're stuck up here. Not exactly. We should explore this place. Catch your breath, Master Otis. Giddy, Twig, let's scout ahead. Alright. <laughs> okay, legitimately can't fly. Cool, cool statues, by the way. And the this little owl symbol here to the left, also cool. Guess this is where that stranger is hiding. But how do we get in? Let me, the owl, handle this. That was easier than expected. Ooh, well, that kicks takes care of that problem. I guess we're actually doing this, huh? It's not like we have a choice. Come on, gang. Let us advance. Hey, bud. Are you ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Hey, I've got your back, man. Who needs to fl who needs flying anyway? Let's go together. Eat. I'm trying to to like slowly walk, but it's not not giving me the option. Okay, so ancient owl owlven architecture. Just get it. What are you you guys doing here? Solus? What are you doing here? Are you the one who stole the relics from the pirates? I I'm sorry. I I trust you, Otis, but I can't involve anyone else in this. I'm sorry, but but, but I don't have time to explain. Please leave. Hey, wait up. We have to catch up to him. Okay, so this place has it like slightly higher gravity or lower gravity. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. Hey, wait up. Solus, we just want to help you. The pirates are coming after you. I, I know. Then let us help. Let's get rid of the relics and... No. I'm trying to use the relics. Uh, huh? I I don't have time to explain this to you. Just get out of here. Hurry, guys. We need to talk some sense into Stola. Oh, Solus. That, that 
doesn't board well. Impromptu platforming challenge. Yep. Okay. Huh? Get up, buddy. We're not at the end just yet. There you go. Okay, guys. Let's keep moving. is this place <clears throat> what is this place Beep. okay so chandelier chandelier ledge chandelier 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 Need to remember that I can like force this. This all kind of reminds me of the the Rito chieftain from Breath of the Wild. This old big old owl looking dude. Okay. Bonus of accidental greatness. Okay. Don't trust that dramatic pan. Hmm? What's this? This book is ancient, but I can read it. Book of Nocte, Volume 1, The Owl Temple. First of the great temples. 
Here, the owls learned how to control the elements and challenge the natural order. By the end of the first aeon, they had mastered water, fire, and wind. And their work here revealed to them the existence of the higher mysteries. It was here that the existence of the loop was hypothesized. The existential anguish from the discovery of the loop permeated all society. Riots began and the owl temple was abandoned. Lore. Book of Nocte, Volume 2. The Floating Continent. Greatest of the Owl Homes. The machines produced here were the finest the world has ever seen. For the first time, all technology surpassed the capabilities of life itself. There seemed to be no end to the heights the owls could reach. They were determined to break the loop and worked tirelessly to advance their technology and knowledge. Finally, the solution was presented. A hex that would append the laws of the universe. But it was a disaster. The hex failed and the world would never be the same. <clears throat> Book of Nocte, Volume 3 the floating tower. A gigantic research facility in the sky, built without the knowledge of the world at large. The last few owls gathered here, far away from the, fam from the famines and war elsewhere. The great relics that were used to create the hex were reforged, for the owls were preparing another hex. Greater, greater than the last, this new hex would send the world crashing downwards and, and bringing the world under Owl's control once again. So that's the truth he wasn't telling us. He's been making the ancient Owls out to be heroes and scholars and what's not. And in reality, he's going to use the relics for power, just like Maelstrom. I knew it. We have no choice now. We shall have to stop him ourselves. Yeah, we're the only ones up here. Let's go. There's no time to waste. over here a locked door oh I just noticed like these little owl faces that's cool okay yep pro gamer it okay less than pro gamer I didn't realize there was a there was a whole other room that way Okay, something about that felt weird. Okay, yep. Yep. I was wondering why two rooms were connected. First try.
So, if playing Hollow Knight taught me anything, this is a boss room. So it seems this was, in fact, not a boss room. Yep. <sighs> Had a feeling something like that would have happened. Okay, so... Just spin to slow it down. So these are like slightly gravi gravitated. Seems like a secret. This seems like a secret. This is like a secret place. Yep. It's really a secret. Yes. Little elevation, please. Thank you. How? in the wrong button. So, this seems like I have to get it at like maximum height. First off, told you. Second off, told you. Third off, I see you. Did my machines and theories break the loop at last? Did I break the world? With this token, you hold the key. The sanctuary beckons you. Give me the answers I, Nocte of the Owls, have always sought. Okay, so we have a third, well, we have a second, a second, own, one in hand, second owned, third scene. Ew. Didn't see that coming. And I jumped too early.
in prompt tool platforming challenge solved oh man whatever it is i think i can see it what's above if you stay on this platform we should make it to something Stand up over here. Cheat in the system. Let that rise. I don't know what's going on. Stay afloat with us. happening okay, so time to dodge music is banger by the way yep witnessing the end of the world my friends we ourselves are floating the floating continents are rising into space this is the end it's happening so suddenly what did Stol what has Stolas done up there J yeah whatever Stolas is doing up there we have to stop him I see his tower above us Let's go. Yep. Dun dun dun. Oh, oh, that was a lot closer than I was expecting. But on the bright side, eh, that's ominous. On the bright side, I can fly. Okay, this is very ominous. This is highly ominous. Um, Phones are fighting me, or if the, the audio is just the audio of like my dashing is muffled. Everything just sounds. Things just sound off.
Huh? How did you get up here? Never mind that, Solus. Quickly, you have to... No. No. I, I told you already. I'm not interested in what you ha have to say. I'm using the relics. That's all. I'm nearly finished here. P please don't get in my way. Repeating. I call upon the power of the Hex relics. Mold us back into one form. Let the oceans feel the rain of stone and fire. For this loop and every loop that will come. Repeating. Okay, so I, I shifted into the dramatic voice a little too late. I told you, don't disturb me. I am at a critical stage in the process. I have to extract the relic's essence. I'll be done soon. Y you're free to leave, you know. You're just bothering me. I'm through talking to you. Yeah. What are you doing? Have you gone mad? Snap out of it, Solus. The relics are too dangerous. Have you forgotten what happened in Advent? No one can use them, ever. We have to destroy them. Have you come to your senses, Sol Solus? We will help you avoid the pirate's retribution, but please stop this. Using the relics for power will only make things worse. That's right. We'll stop you if we, ha if we have to. I don't have time for this. I've been telling you guys, leave me alone. I gave you lots of chances. But it's clear you guys don't understand. So I guess I'll have to make you leave. Eep. 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 I don't know if I'm hitting him. Eep. Yeah, I'm doing something.
not sure if that connected it okay that connected N not Okay. So anybody else notice that he memories of relay flood back to you. Oh. So I guess we can head back to town. I guess that's I guess that would be to do whatever upgrades or something.
don't understand what is happening. Like, I can't tell what is and isn't hitting. And I can't tell what I do and don't need to. I don't understand what what I need to do to actually like land the final hit. Is that's it? First try? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah man, I know what I'm doing. Well I kinda know what I'm doing. Uh, no. I I can't move. Now you gotta listen to us. Stop this power crazy stuff. Using the relics is going to get people hurt. No, you wrong. I'm trying to help. By using the relics? Don't you remember Advent? Those things are weapons. No. No, no, no. That's not what the relics are made for. That's just how Maelstrom used them. Ew. Please explain, Solus. I didn't want to tell you this, but I need you to understand. I'm going to tell you of the great shame of the owls. 
the hex and the anti-hex. The relics were created long ago when the owls lived at the planet's surface and the floating islands did not exist. Owl technology was beyond our imagination and the owls studied the deeper secrets of the universe. The relics were made after the owls... Uh, yeah. The discovery that sent the owl society into infighting and chaos. Yo, Diki Wagwan. The loop. What is the loop? I am not certain, but the owls were obsessed with it. They worked for centuries in a desperate struggle to find a way to end the loop. Finally, they found a solution. A hex that would alter the laws of nature to end the loop itself. The relics were designed for the f to be fueled for the hex. Centuries after they were made, the owls were finally ready for their hex. S so what happened? Did, did the hex work? It was the biggest disaster in the history of the planet. I don't even know if the hex broke the loop. That should have been the least of their worries. The hex backfired, shattering the planet's continents into floating islands into the sky. And the planet was reduced to a giant empty ocean. And the islands are still rising. You must have seen it outside. The world is ending. Time is running out. It's a matter of days we've all risen to call. In a matter of days we'll all, we'll all have risen to call on breathable space. But the anti-hex. You mentioned something about an anti-hex. This library was built to find a way to bring the planet's expansion under control and reverse it. When I found it, I learned that the owls created relics that have been absorbed that have been absorbing power for centuries. Now they're ready to be used for the anti-hex, which will bring the islands back down to the ocean. That is what I'm preparing. An anti-hex to save the world. Whoops. Man. You should have told us, Solus. Why did you try to do all this on your own? I didn't. I got the pirates to help me by promising them power. Tricking the pirate, <coughs> tricking the pirates led to the destruction of Advent Solus. I, ju I just, I didn't know if anyone. Oh, I didn't know of anyone who I could trust. Let us help you finish this anti-hex. Come on, Solus. What do we have to do? I, I, you just have to, oh no, is that, owl boy, you traitor, I'm coming for you, name drop by the way, do that. oh no, oh man, Oh man, the captain is here. Look outside. The world is... It's all coming apart. It's the end of the world as we know it. You have run off with my relics, owl boy. You dare betray me? I haven't betrayed you, Maelstrom. I'm, I'm trying to save you and everyone else. I'm trying to prevent the planet from being destroyed. Ow. Otis, are you alright? So you're saving the world, is it? Why would I care if the planet is destroyed? Give the relics back to me now. P please, I I can't. 
Uh, oh, this. Take this. What happened? Is Maelstrom... Is Master Otis breathing? Y yes Good. Get him out of here. I'll keep the captain at bay. Hurry, Master Getty. Twig. I can't hold him for long. Uh, we have to get out of here. Get up, Otis. Uh. Hurry up and get away, Otis. We'll hold him back. Twig, follow me. Uh, hurry, Otis. Otis. We, we can't run away. Please, I can't move. You have to complete the anti-hex. Repair the totem. Hopefully, that will be enough. Yep. more strength what this man hit me while I was in nah man man cheat Okay, so while we while we basically in in cutscene, I think we're actually like close to finishing our boy. Like, honestly speaking, this may be this may be like the end. Two. Come on, power up. Fly. Otis, get out of here. Hex. It's emerging from his body. But is he? <laughs> so this is what your treachery is about. You think this is enough to stop me? <laughs> I'll crush this little hex of yours.
Yo, Marco. Greetings, salutations. Uh, headphones. Okay. Yeah, okay. Otis, how's school been lately? I heard the ISO might take you under his wing soon. You're so lucky, Otis. Okay, this feels very much endgame because the beginning of the game had a similar vibe. Hey, little Otis. I uh, want to drop by my place sometime with Fib and Banachi. We'll play the drums till the sun sets. Hey, hey, uh, hey there, youngin. Wanna join me in the hot spring? No? You're a hard worker, Otis. Just like the other house. That wasn't the voice I had originally, but I couldn't. Yep. Oh right, I can fly. That is that is a thing I can do. Yep. Otis. I do say hi to Letia and Scoops for me. I hear you'll be studying on the ISO soon. He handpicked you, I heard, and I'm glad he did. I think you two will be a great fit. I don't appreciate this. Well, I appreciate this reverse auto slander. Because the start, of the, the beginning of the game was very depressing. I guess. Uh, it, it. Can't roll, right? Otis, I'm glad you're doing well. You, you don't recognize me. You, you don't recognize me? It's me, Solus. Listen, um, I don't know if you think of me as a friend, but I always thought of you as my only friend. I hope the next time we meet, it'll be under different circumstances. There's so, so much I want to tell you. Welcome, Otis. I'm very glad to see you again. You're probably wondering where you are. You're not dreaming. You're seeing visions of the past and the future. And from today, you may not remember any of it, but it is real. You grew up with good people, Otis full of affection for you and hopes for your future and regret for things said and done. These visions are our gift to you. The truth, I think, is often the greatest gift, especially since people are so prone to forgetting the things they should cherish most. You must have many questions. Come. Sit down. Is everyone going to be okay? Getty, Alphonse, Twig, and all the rest? Yes, Otis. You succeeded out there. The fact that you're here means the anti-hex worked. What will happen now? The islands 
will be sinking. Your generation will know the surface as we did. Thanks to you, the world will be whole once again. And it will, it will be different. It will be difficult to adjust to the life on the surface after all this time. But it will be overcome. I hope you don't blame us for what we've put you through. We tried to change the universe and we paid the price for that. You paid that price too. In order to end the loop, we were willing to do anything, even risk our future, your present. I'm not sure I understand. It doesn't matter. All you need to know is that we w wanted to discover the nature of the universe and in doing so, we lost ourselves. Maybe one day, in this life or the next, you will learn about the loop. But there are far more rewarding things to learn about the universe than how it ends. You're probably wondering, you're probably worried that this is the end for you. Don't worry. In this world we've created, there is always a second chance. Our time is up. And I know I'm not the only one, but I've always believed in you, Moses. Created by D-Pad Studio. So yeah, that... That was our boy. Huh. I... Wasn't expecting to... To... Finish it today. Honestly. Um, so, how, what do you guys think? How did you, what did you guys think of All Boy? Did you enjoy it? Like, the Otis slander in the beginning was rough. Like, I felt bad for the guy. Um, game on a whole fun like bits and pieces kind of annoyed me mostly between mostly aspects of the control uh, and a bit of navigation but honest overall pleasant experience bunch of fun uh, but yeah I'm glad I'm glad Otis got his recognition in the end, even though I'm not sure if it was a, I'm not sure if it was a, well, I'm not sure if it was the kind of recognition I was looking for, because it wasn't like them saying it, it was like spirits speaking, Ooh. This is nice.
Okay. Eep. So, yeah, so, as usual, this and all the other streams will be on YouTube. So, if anybody tuning in later into the stream wondering what happened that brought us to the place that you entered on. So, we'll also be on the Twitch channel, but that's a temporary thing because it goes after like a week or two. So, yeah. Amazing game. Well, good to amazing. Uh, in I wasn't. I was honestly thinking, the remainder of All Boy would have taken the next two streams. I didn't expect to be finished in less than an hour and a half. I thought they, I thought there was a decent amount more left in the end game, but pleasantly surprised. And it is a good thing I have next streams game already lined up. So. Um, I, hmm, nah, I won't spoil what we're doing next stream, but tune in on Wednesday to catch what we're going to do next. Whole new game, whole new type of game, actually, a type of game we haven't really covered on channel before. Um... Also, to anyone, to anyone that's interested, I'm just throwing this out there on our YouTube channel. He let me drop a link. No, okay, hold on. Dang it, what was the code? Ah, uh, I don't remember what it was. Anyway, uh, sorry for that. On. Give me a second. Let me get the channel. So, on the Random Titan Guy YouTube channel, we are currently doing a playthrough of Humankind. So, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with it. It is a 4x strategy game, like City Empire Builder that that sort of thing uh, empire building strategy game we started I think two weeks ago um, is has like a very it, it has a strong following so far and I'm really happy for that and I thank all of you who are watching the stream live and those who are watching the VOD Thank you for making it this far, by the way. Um, yeah, tune in if you're interested. Or even if you have no idea what is going on and you want to support the channel. And who knows, you might find something that very much interests you. But um, all, that all that considered, all that said, I'm going to end stream here thank all of you for tuning in i hope to see you guys on wednesday and with that peace love tranquility to all of you
see you next time